Hey guys, what's up? So, uh, uh, I told you in a video yesterday that I was actually going to uh, do a video on a gun, and uh, here's the video. This here is a Savage Arms 243. This is uh, uh, a, a Savage Arms uh, Axis 243. This is my nephew's gun. I uh, have not got to shoot it, shoot it yet. He got it for Christmas, so yeah. Really, really uh, nice looking gun. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It's really nice, really nice looking gun. Really, really affordable too. Uh, paid three hundred fifty dollars for this thing. Bought it brand spanking new. Uh, I mean, can't ask for uh, anything better than that. I mean, three hundred fifty dollars, bam, and you got the full setup. It had a bush nut, has a bush nut scope on it too. So uh, yeah, today we're actually gonna go shoot it, get it sighted in, and uh, I'm actually going to video some of that. So yeah, I hope you uh, stay tuned for that. But uh, right now I'm going to you know just look at some of the features on this uh, gun. So, uh, first of all, you got the shock pad, of course. Uh, I don't know really why you would need one on here, but, I mean, an old kid's going to be using this, so, you know, it's all right. This is not a youth model, by the way, either, but it is really small. If I put my uh, 300 Win Mag up beside this thing, uh, my 300 Win Mag dwarfs this thing. I mean, it's pretty big. Or, my 300 ma uh, Win Mag is pretty big, and this is pretty small. But, uh, yeah, it is pretty small. But I like that. I like how I like how short it is, you know. And uh, by the way, this right here feels real nice when you grip that. So yeah, there's a positive on there. Uh, also, all right, guys. Sorry about that. Um, my finger is actually really close to the power button where it lays on the camera when I'm recording, and I accidentally smacked the recording button and it turned it off. But uh, the grips on this gun, though, are amazing. I love the grip, the, the grips on the front right here. They have like little raised there. It's indented, first of all. I don't know if you can see that, but it's indented in. And uh, you actually have little raised areas on here you can put your fingers in between, and it gives you good grip. And uh, I really like that about this gun. Now, uh, one of the things I do not like about this gun, though, is the bolt. The bolt. For one reason why I don't think I like it is one reason or uh, one thing it's new. It's brand new. It has a rough bolt on it, but uh, it's like real smooth halfway up, and you know, about midway you just really have to jam that sucker up. And uh, I think that's because it's new, or it could be a safety feature. I don't know. Don't really know why that what that had to do with safety, but it might be. Um, one thing I do uh, I just want to point out here is uh. Your safety you can't turn off, or you can't put safety on when the gun's just sitting and there's no bullets in it. But when you put actually inject a shell into the chamber, you can you then can turn the safety on. I don't understand that. How you say I, I pull it back real quick? Okay, I pulled it back. So you can see it's, it did nothing. So I don't understand that. Maybe some of y'all know in the comment section why it does that or why they had this feature on here. It's kind of a weird feature, but uh, yeah. So yeah, it has a three by nine scope on it, bushnell scope. Um, you know, it's a cheaper bushnell scope, but it is bushnell, really nice. I actually have a bushnell on my uh, gun. Mine is a, a elite tactical, I think, or maybe just an elite, but it's one of the higher end scopes. But um, yeah, I really like this gun. So, uh, uh, let me take the uh, clip out and show you the clip. I didn't get to, didn't get to do that. Uh, I like how the clip comes out. It comes out real nice and smooth. So yeah, you got the clip. I think it's made out of aluminum. It might be metal, but it's very thin. But I think it's aluminum. And of course, you have the. Uh, ooh, about dropped that sucker. Didn't want that to happen, but uh, of course you have the synthetic on the bottom. But uh, yeah, guys, uh, that, that was pretty much the video. Uh, the video for me showing the gun, anyway. Uh, here in a minute, we're about to go shoot this sucker, and uh, yeah, uh, we'll be back here in a few minutes, and I'll talk about how it shot. So yeah, guys, uh, hope you enjoy this little bit of uh, us shooting the gun, or my nephew, anyway. So yeah, guys, I'll be right back here in a few to. Uh, Finish out the video with the gun. Here you go. Good 
job, Lucas. Push it forward. You gotta pull that thing back, Lucas. Sorry, pull it in there. Don't destroy my center block now. Ah! A little bit above, a little bit up. Was that lower? That's it, Lucas. Alright guys, so I'm back from shooting the gun. I really enjoyed shooting this gun. Uh, it was pretty accurate for it to be, you know, out of the box and nothing was touched on the on the scope. Really nice shooting gun. Really light. Really liked it. My nephew liked it. Of course it's his gun, so it was good that he liked it. And uh, yeah, all together, really nice shooting gun. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please leave a like, comment, uh, subscribe. So yeah guys, uh, hope you enjoyed this and uh, I'll see you later. Oh, yeah, by the way, real quick before I go, don't forget that next week I'm actually going to be doing another gun. And hopefully I'll go out and shoot it as well. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for that video. So, yeah, guys, I'll see you later.